You can't reach another human being, really, uh, who is suffering grief and sadness unless you have encountered it yourself. Julie Miller is 73 and could be leading a quiet life of retirement. Instead, she remains a highly valued teacher at Bristol Metropolitan Academy, running a successful English as an additional language programme for children who need extra emotional and educational support. Julie is an amazing person because of her experience and because of her personality. I think Julie's retired two or three times in her life already, but she keeps coming back and she's, she's, she would be very sorely missed. She, she's such a big part of the school here. She formed her individual approach as a result of her own childhood experiences. I had a mother who a million things could have been right and she would have homed in on the one thing that was wrong. I determined when I had some uh, decision-making powers and I was a bit older that I would do absolutely the opposite. If there were a million things wrong, I would find something good and concentrate on it to the exclusion of all the bad things. This positive approach works well with the children at Bristol Metropolitan Academy. If there's a problem, come and tell me. Many have come as refugees from war-torn countries or as immigrants and often need special attention. I get a surge of adrenaline with excitement when I see a child who is extremely troubled. But it doesn't daunt me, it excites me. You tell me a few things you know and I'll give you three points for everything you know about the seashore. When Jabril, originally from Somalia, came to the school, he constantly misbehaved. Boat? Yeah. Yes. Nobody could teach him because he would not stay in one place for more than two seconds. We all found it very difficult. You've remembered flask. Service flask. What's flask mean? Jabril was put into Julie's survival English programme. It's a step-by-step -step approach to language. The aim, to instill confidence in a student's new English skills, as well as extend their vocabulary. Um, what do we put in a thermos flask? Explain it to me. Um, water. Yeah. Um, Something hot sometimes. Coffee. Coffee. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. See. I have great hopes for him. He's a very lovable character. He's tuned in to what we want and he knows we mean business. I'm compelled to make that child feel worthy. They come invariably feeling utterly worthless and they can't affect their own destiny. Refugees, children that have escaped war and terrible, terrible things, um, uh, need much more of what I can whack into the way I teach. Hello, Hello. Mohammed. Nice to see you. Mohammed had to escape from Somalia and he left his mother behind. You told me something that I didn't know and I've known you now for two years. My mum's not here. She, she is at Kenya now, but I miss her a lot. Julie believes that because her own life hasn't all been plain sailing, including a serious crisis while living abroad, uh, she can, can empathise with her students. What you said yesterday Children are brought to me who have got the same the empty eye thing. bewilderment as I have had myself because of the circumstances I was in. I can see in these children the same fear that I had experienced when I was abroad and frightened with no papers, no documents to prove who I was or where I was from. And that is a very lonely feeling. And um, many of these children have lost not just their documents, their families. I feel quite powerful that I've got strategies and um, opportunities to, to lighten their lives. What are you going to do? 
Right. I'm, I'm going to get five A's start to see. And then what yeah, are you I'm going to do? Mohammed is one of her many successes. Starting with no English, he's learned fast under her scheme and will be considering university. He knew I was aware of his intelligence. And that's a terrific bond, that, that someone knows that you're thinking hard and it doesn't match your inability to speak the language. <laughs> I, I know, if you don't go to university, I'm going to cry for a million years. You have <laughs> my start. It's a powerful feeling. It, I feel powerful that I can... I don't now doubt my capacity to cope with alarmed children. It's lovely to see you. Come in any time I'm here. I can lo latch them on to the programme and, and make them feel that learning is great fun.